Okay, we're super excited because we've got international singer-songwriter Angun here with us. She's taking some time off a busy schedule to sit down here in the Five Show studio. Welcome to the set. Thank you for having so, me. So, it's really interesting. You started off as a rock artist, then yes. you crossed into the pop uh, folk kind of genre, pop pop, pop genre. world. Pop world. Yes. And then, um, you've got a brand new album. So, what's this new album going to be like? Um, Actually, after after doing rock and then pop world and then doing a little bit of uh, pop rocky and then I don't know, there are so many names Everything nowadays. Everything is just mishmash these yeah. days, right? To me, it's actually just um, music business is divided in two, good music and all bad music. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, so for me, hopefully I'm in a good music session. Section. But what can we expect? Is this, uh, you know... Um... Hip-hop, yo, yo, no. trance, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was just offering some genres, I'm not sure. Well, obviously, you need to make another... <laughs> you need to make an album. Oh, yeah. A nice trance album. Probably a hip-hop album. Hip-hop yeah. trance album. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think anybody will be buying it. No, 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 no I'm not quite yeah. sure about that. But what is your album like, the new album? Give us a little tease, um, a little It's a little going insight. to be still in the uh, pop world music, I think, uh, because, because, you know, I'm... As a um, songwriter, I like songs that tell stories with mm. melodies and and um, things that people can relate to. And uh, you know, my father used to be a, a book writer, and and he used to say that writers are are thieves. We th we we steal uh, people's stories, people's mm -hmm. life, and then make make them our own. So basically, um, that's what I have been doing. Stealing, <laughs> stealing. Well, stories. I mean, it's, yeah. it's about oh, inspiration. inspiration, inspiration, influence, imagination. How has motherhood changed your outlook on on the world and and the world of music? On the world, well, I have been. My daughter is seven. And uh, since seven years, I have been the most happiest person, but I'm also uh, the most worried <laughs> person because, you know, as a mother, you're always like, oh, don't go there. But she needs to go there. She, she, she you mm -hmm. know, she needs, she needs to, to try things out. Of course, she needs to test her, her own limit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I'm there to actually, um, to, to actually tell her that this Probably not good, but it's your own decision. I'm that kind of mother. I'm I'm very um, you know not um, I'm I'm not controlling. extremely hands on, but not controlling. Yes. All right. I mean to let her ex experience it for herself, right? Yes, and but but of course I'm I'm um, I have to say I'm I'm, I'm quite uh, you know very. Are you quite a disciplinarian? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, but but very loving though. I think I think kids need that. Yeah. They 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 need to know their boundaries. They yeah. they need to know as well that uh, I mean I am not her her friend or her girlfriend. I'm her mother, so I need to be respected. She needs to say to me things like because you know how uh, nowadays kids they actually. Um, they actually call their parents by their names. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. Right, right. No. Don't call me by my name. No, 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 no. no, no. no. I, am uh, mama. Uh, I am the big M. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. You're the big A. The big I'm good. Oh, no, of course. Oh, you're big you're M. Yes, M. mother, <laughs> of course. Hello. No, yes. I, I, yes, 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 yes. She should never call you by I'm good. No, 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 no not no, at no. all. I, I have a quote, um, one of your quotes right here. Um, it says, I was born a singer. I won't yes. go into another profession because I think there are still many people out there who were born to be movie stars or of models. Yeah. My calling is in music. So with that, you show that you had no interest in, in expanding into other areas like acting. But no. I, I mean, you also rejected offers from Hollywood, but now you're doing yeah. TV. Right. X Factor a Indonesia, a a Indonesia's got, got talent, Asia's got, Asia's talent. got talent. Why did you change your mind? I, well, it's actually... I don't. I haven't changed my mind because oh. I'm not doing any acting. Okay. Uh, being a jury or a mentor, like for X Factor, or being uh, a judge on Asia's Got Talent, is still in in the area of my domain. Okay. You know, it's it's still about music. It's about art in general. It's about um, everything that is. Uh, it's about entertainment. So 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 I. So this is still in my area. Okay. But but acting. Uh, that requires a talent, which I don't have. We'll never say never. I, I, really, I don't. <laughs> no. oh. Oh. Really, I'm, never. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> some, uh, some, some fighters, 
I obviously can't read, guys. Some, some singers, singers like, like, like Foo Fighters, Fighters Dave Grohl, yeah. are against reality shows that right. discover music talent. talent. Um, on the flip side, you have punk bands like Green Day, um, yeah. who have no problems performing on American Idol. So as a yeah. judge on Asia's Got Talent, what's your opinion on this divide? Well, I can understand um, their point of view. I, um, I actually had um, some kind of, uh, you know, that kind of question myself, because what probably what they don't like is the fact that from day one to day two, someone who is a nobody became a personality or became a celebrity. So they're burning lots of steps. That is actually normally what um, people like me who started everything from zero, we just, you know, go banging doors at, at uh, record companies and, and um, you know, to actually be in front of a camera singing your song and, and being, uh, you know, watched by millions of people. There is a long journey before yeah. that. And, and that is not the case for, um, for, for these new singers. But, but to me, which is great, because nowadays, um, things are moving really fast. You know, what's going on in Mongolia, like, uh, like for example, in Exia Squad Talent, we had this Mongolian act. No one knew about them. And then, boom, they're on Asia's Got Talent, and then the, 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 the video went viral. And then, you know, and then people from in America or, or, or in New Zealand can watch them and they know. So there is nothing wrong with that, actually, uh, that burning steps. Mm -hmm. But, of course, we need, um, if you're a bit fragile, if you don't know how, how, how uh, awful this uh, show business or entertainment business can be, and if you're not really, you know, uh, strong uh, and not uh, and don't have the kind of support, when things don't happen to you uh, the next day, then you know you need your family, you need you you need your moral support. That is why probably the uh, to me the uh, the low part of uh, of that. But other than that, if you see only purely from the artistic side, purely the um, uh, entertainment business is fine. You just need to uh, take it as an experience. I suppose from the personal side, the steps that you know you normally would have to go through would sieve out the ones that are maybe emotionally or mentally not yeah. able to handle. It helps shape you actually when when you do when you uh, when you go step by step. Mm. About paying your dues too, right? Besides being a, a fantastic musician, but can I just say that? You are gorgeous Thank as well. How do you, you do it? Your hair look at you. is so nice. Your skin is so beautiful. <laughs> what is the secret? But you know what? I'm Indonesian. Uh, uh, for all Indonesians, hair is very important because this is our crown oh. as women. You know, so so it's important to actually maintain a good look. But I'm extremely low maintenance in terms of everything. To me, I believe it. When you find the right product, uh, that's it. That's it. It's it's it. There's no point in in, in actually uh, trying other things. I have been using Pantene oh. since 13 years. Wow. 13 years. Yeah, wow. To be really honest, oh. and and I and, and I can safely say that uh, uh, Pantene is the only reason that I never had any bad hair day. I. I want to cut her hair off. Yeah. <laughs> Use it as, as my hair extension. Stop, stop being so jealous, uh, yes. <laughs> so, you know, but uh, what do you think is true beauty? True beauty, you know, I'm, I'm one of these boring people who actually believe that beauty really do come from the inside. I, you know, it, there's so much that makeup can, can, uh, can cover or, but, but what you say, how you feel and the way you carry yourself, or your aura, that is something that nothing can hide or nothing. It's just, uh, it's, it's the way you, who you are. If you give yourself good food, you know, your body feels, feels good, feels better. If you read good books, then your mind is better. And, 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 and if you only see beautiful things, then your eyes will only see uh, the, the beauty in the world. And, and to me, that is, that is much more important what you feed, what you give to yourself is much more important because this is what, what actually, what people can see from the outside. I totally agree with it. I think Anlai's going to cry. No, 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 <laughs> thank you so much, so Angun. You are a beautiful soul thank and thank you, you so much for coming thank on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank you. you.